Hey folks, it's Jay Thompson with TacticalRF.com. This video is a basic introduction to Hytera DMR programming. There's a few parameters beyond what we needed in the analog days to get a radio up and running. Under DMR services, transmit contacts. These can be set to any alphanumeric character in the call alias field. Under digital common, basic, a unique radio ID number to identify it on the system. And then under RF parameters, a color code from 0 to 15, which is somewhat similar to CTCSS. And then slot operation, you can have two slots on a 12.5K channel, so you have two talk paths simultaneously. In the RF section, it's pretty similar to what we had in the analog days. TX contact name has to be selected. If it's none, the radio is listen only. RX group list, you can have none and it will track the talk group that's in the TX contact list or you can select a receive group list if you want to scan multiple talk groups. The last parameter that's really the most important is the zone because unless you put the channel into the zone even though it's programmed in the radio, you can't access it from the channel selection knob. Once that's done, you're ready to write to the radio.